Hi, in this video, I'll be covering how to have multiple pivot table views in the value section, like a total and percentage. Pivot tables are one of the best ways to analyze and show your data. But sometimes you want to show different views of the same data, like the counts and the percentages from the totals. We're used to having two pivot tables, one with a count and one with percentages. It takes a lot of space, yeah? Can we put it into one table and still make it look good? You bet. Let's check it out. So here I've got a table of data. And so let me just go through quickly creating a pivot table that we have two, two views, one with the quantity and one with percentage. What I can do to create my pivot table, go to insert pivot table. But if you like keyboard shortcuts like I do, you can use Alt N V T. And that's going to bring up this pivot table window. I want to have it in a new worksheet, click OK. Excel smart enough to know where my data resides from A1 to 509, click OK. I want it in a new worksheet. Let's pull in our data. What I'll do is I'll put state in the rows. So I want to see all the states in the rows. In my columns, I'll put training completed. It's either yes or no. And I'll just count the names of the, the people that have completed. So right, six here in Alabama are no, two are yes, total of eight, right? And so this is our total count. If I want to have percentage, I can go right click, so show values as the total row, and I've got this percentage, right? And so let me control C, control Z to undo that. You might think, oh, if I want to show both on a worksheet, control C to copy, control V to paste, and make this one show values as a percentage of total. So that's a lot to show on one sheet. Why don't we just have it in one table, make it a little bit easier? Select that, delete, right click, delete. And what I'm going to do is put this in twice, right? So I'll put the count of the names in twice. And you'll see that it doesn't look right, right? So we're going to have it where the count of name twice shows up in that particular values area. And for this one, this will be percentage, right click and show values as a percentage. And it's really hard to read. But what Excel's done is it's added those columns. It's created another field, the summarization field here. And what we can do is move that field now. So I've moved this field over here to rows. Now we've got a nicer view. And if I wanted to see it by state, I just pull it under after state. And it's the second one. And you can see now that we see the count here on top and then the percentage here on the bottom. And I can just rename this. I can just put count of name. And this one can be percent. I just type PCT of name. Let's delete that too, because now it's no longer a copy of that. And it changes for everything. I've got the total count and the percentage on one table. And if I go to the bottom, I can even see the totals here for all the states. So here's a little nifty way of being able to see multiple summation values in the pivot table, total and percentage. You can do other things. You can even add uh, another field in here and do the same thing. As you can see, you don't have to have separate pivot tables to show different views of the same data. You can combine them into one pivot table and still have it look presentable. This gives you a way to make your data insightful and look good at the same time. See more videos like this? Click the banner at the end. Still here? I got a joke for you. Where do power cords go shopping at an outlet mall? <laughs>